Okay then, so, normal set of benchmarks in the bench, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW and 3D Mark CPU test. For the Frozen Note Black 360, Cinebench are 23, the idles are 33 Celsius, the max was an 81. Blender Classroom, the idles were 33, the max was an 80. Blender BMW, the idles were a 34 Celsius and the max was an 80 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 34 Celsius and the max was a 73 Celsius. Now for the <coughs> Frozen Prism 360. Cinebench R23, the idles were 35 Celsius, the max was an 82. Blender Classroom, the idles were 35, the max was a 80 Celsius, the Blender BMW was an 81 Celsius and 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 37 and the max was a 77 Celsius. Okay and so yeah look the the frozen the frozen note you know they, they're both around identical numbers except for 3D Mark as you saw in the thermals. Yeah there is about three to four degree difference but like I said like, the thing is with testing is when you test two different coolers on the same day, especially at the certain times of the day, the temperature outside does fluctuate. And of course, while you're testing inside, that does tend to go up. So that could be a margin of error. That could be any number of reasons, but the performance was exactly around identical. So that really didn't surprise me, to be honest, because Thermal Rights AIOs are actually very good and I've reviewed a couple of, a few of them. So they're usually pretty good. Now, of course, the Frozen Prism, it does have the pump inside the block housing itself. It's not on the sleeving on the tubes like the Frozen Note, which I did experience a bit of air noise coming out of the pump when it comes to the Frozen Note, but that was only on first boot, so, and then after that, it went, so that could be something, so, you know, that's really up to you. There is about a £20 difference in price. The Frozen Note's 80 quid at the moment on Amazon. I will make sure I put the correct numbers up right by here while I'm speaking. And of course, the Frozen Note's at 60. But that is me checking today while filming. That price could change by tomorrow or, you know, when I decide to actually edit this. So if the price changes, I'll make sure to put them up right by here so you guys know what we're where the price is now i will leave links of both of these aios it does help me does give me a kickback and of course any money i earn off amazon 
I will put back into for videos or improve things around here. Now, of course, both support AM4, AM5 because AM5 is backwards compatible with AM4 coolers and, of course, LJ1700. So they do support it. They both do support the newest iterations of AMD and Intel CPUs. Uh, they basically have their around the similar same fans. They the ones with the Prism are a little bit updated, of course, because they are newer. They both AIOs allowed. I won't sugarcoat that they are loud. Uh, when it comes to AIOs, the loudest AIOs I've heard are off thermal right. But then yeah, there's a downside. You know, you get the performance with a high fast. RPM fans, but then if you put it down to 50%, the performance does tend to, you know, the temps do start to creep up. So there's a middle and in between between both. It's either you don't care about sound and you just want the raw performance, or you care about noise, but you're not so bothered if the temps go up by a few degrees. That that's up to you. That's your decision. I'm just here to give you the data to tell you which one, to, which one is the best option for you guys to buy. Of course, I'm going to say the cheapest one is the best. But in this instance, because I did hear a bit of air in the pump when first boot, I would suggest you going for the North because they do have the pump situated on the tube outside of the block. So at least you wouldn't have to worry about that. It is similar to what BeQuiet does with their AIOs. So at least you elevate that problem out of anything. So that's really it. That's really it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I have got how to water cool your, P your gaming PC coming soon, so make sure you subscribe for that. And this is Rich from Welsh Tech. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend. Goodbye.